Hello everyone, so welcome back to another episode of Learning Trigonometry. So for this video we have an awesome problem regarding Ferris wheel with the uh, with what we learned from the previous videos on uh, standard equations of a circle. So let's get started with this little fact before we tackle the problem. So it says the original Ferris wheel was built in 1893 by bridge builder George W. Ferris in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania. And it was originally built for the World Fair in Chicago, but then was later reconstructed for the 1904 World Fair in St. Louis. And ac according to the inventors.about.com, the original Ferris wheel had a maximum height of 264 feet. Okay, so let's write this piece of information down. Mm, okay, maximum, oh, <laughs> max height. 264 feet. Oh, oh, that's a little bit off. Hmm. Okay, it's 264 feet. So 264 feet. Okay, and then it says the wheel diameter of 250 feet. So let's actually draw a Ferris wheel, or we can draw a big circle representing the Ferris wheel. Okay, so here it's the center of the, of the Ferris wheel, and it says that it's the maximum height right here is 264 feet. Okay, so, and then it also gives us the wheel diameter, which is 250 feet. So the diameter is 250 feet. So what does that make the radius? So what, the, what would the radius be of this wheel with the given information? The radius will just be half of the diameter. So, from here to this point, it will just be 225 feet for the radius, okay? And the problem wants us to find an equation for the wheel if the center, okay, if lo locate the center of the wheel is on the y-axis. So we know that the center is on the y-axis and the maximum height is at 264. So I'm not going to draw the x-axis yet or I can, I can draw the x-axis, but do you see that gap? There's a gap there because when you look at a Ferris wheel, it's not, the wheel itself is not on the ground. There is some type of support. Mm -hmm. So we know that this Ferris wheel is lifted up, but we wanna find out, you know, what this distance is and how do we find that out with, with the given information that we have. If the diameter is 250 feet and the maximum height of this Ferris wheel is 264, it's saying that this whole thing is 250 feet, yet from the maximum height to here is 264 feet. So in order to find out the distance of the actual supporting structure on the bottom, all we have to do is 264 minus 250, and that will give us the height of the support, which is just 14 feet. So this Ferris wheel is lifted up by 14 feet, okay? So now we wanna write this, with all of this given information into the standard form, the standard form of the equation of a circle. So recall what the standard form of a circle is from the previous video. So here we have x minus h squared plus y minus k squared, perfect. And we don't have the h and k because h and k is the center. We don't know where the center is, but we do have one information and that is the radius. So it's 250 squared of x minus some number, which is the x component of the center, plus 
y minus some number, which is the y component of that. So let's find out what the center is. So let me use another color. Okay, so let's see. If the structure is 14 feet and the center is right here, and we know that from here to here is 125 feet. Okay, so for the center, all we have to do is 125 feet plus the extra 14 feet, which will give us 139 feet, right? But this is in the Y component. But what about the X component? Well, if the center is on the Y axis, then that means that the X component is just zero. So the center is at zero comma 139. So you can distribute this out and factor it out and get your final result. But here's your final result. You can simplify it to get a more simplified version. That's what I meant. Here we go. Okay, well stay tuned for the next video and we're going to do more awesome, amazing problems with math.